we're heading up the M1 to Wakefield. We are going to the Hepworth Gallery's Christmas Market. vlogging in the street who would have thought it would come to this I've got to be honest it is a little bit nerve-wracking but I'm giving it a shot even though certain people are looking over and probably wondering what the heck I'm doing so I'm down in the Ecclesall Road area of Sheffield it's a little bit drizzly and very very windy today so I hope this picks up the sound I'm just about to pop into a coffee shop and start work on a really important project that I've had on the cards for a long time some of you may have heard me speak about creating a course for a while now and it is the basis of it is in my very special notebook where I write down all my ideas for things and that's what I'm going to start doing today so you can hold me accountable okay you heard it here first this is happening let's go and do this It is the most gorgeous morning after several days of fog and rain. The sun's shining and I've come out for half an hour to my favourite spot. I wanted to share a couple of tips with you about my experience of art at the altar. Tip number one, give yourself extra time. Even though you think you've got enough time, you will probably find yourself rushing in those last couple of days building up to settle. So next time I'm going to plot out two days in my diary that are completely free. Okay, so I'm going to have everything ready a couple of days before. That way it frees up time for me to deal with any emergency jobs or things that crop up last minute and I won't be working under pressure. Tip number two. Don't be frightened to shout out about your products, okay? If you've got something original that's hand-painted, tell people about it. People go to these events and scan the stands really quickly to see what's on offer. And I was told that my decorations actually look like store-bought ones, which is a huge compliment. But at the end of the day, if people are thinking store-bought, they're thinking mass-produced price tags, and that's not gonna cut the mustard. So don't be frightened to put signage on your stand. My friend Linda, who's one of the organisers, helped me out with that. She was one of the people that pointed out the fact that certain people didn't even realise that my stuff was hand-painted original art. So don't be frightened to share that with your customers. Okay, tip number three. This one is self-care and it's a super important one. Okay, don't underestimate the power of a bit of self-care. I ran myself ragged running up to the setup night and then obviously working those few days at the fair it really took its toll and I wasn't expecting to feel the way I did by the end of it which was utterly drained okay I even had to take a couple of days out this week 
suffered with a migraine, felt absolutely depleted. I don't want to be like that next time. So I would advise you to factor in early nights, maybe a little bit of gentle yoga or whatever exercise you enjoy doing. Get out for a walk, that kind of thing. Drink lots of water, okay? I noticed looking back, I forgot to drink water. I mean, how mad is that? I normally have a water bottle with me all the time. And even though I took one with me to the fair when I was helping out, it was under my table. I didn't touch it. So keep hydrated. Eat lots of fruit, veggies, you know, this is day-to-day -day stuff, but do it, okay? It keeps you on top form, it keeps you in peak condition and helps you to feel a whole lot better as well. So yeah, total ticking off for myself here because I've totally let the side down on the self-care front, but next time it's gonna be better, promise. I was debating whether to even show you the state of my studio today, but this is the aftermath of the art fair. <laughs> so as you can see, I've got a fair bit of tidying up to do, but I've been distracted. I've had a brainwave. I am going to be hosting a market night, a Christmas market night, and you're all invited. It's gonna be on my Facebook business page, so it doesn't matter whereabouts in the world you are, you can shop from the comfort of your sofa, in your pajamas if you want, with a nice mug of tea, or even a mulled wine. What's super exciting though, is I've also invited along some of my friends to join me. So I've got artists and makers, there's gonna be about four or five other people taking part as well. So there's gonna be a whole load of different things that you can buy for Christmas this year. I'm gonna start a special album, I'm going to start photographing things this afternoon for it and we will be able to put that online for you next week to have a browse and then the fair goes live on Thursday the 6th of December at 8 o'clock. I really hope you'll be able to join me. It promises to be a lovely evening and what's nicer at Christmas than supporting small individual businesses and shopping handmade. I just wanted to quickly let you know that I've decided after this Christmas I won't be doing this range of decorations again so the market night will be the last chance to buy. I've created this range for the last few years and although they've been really popular I think 2019 needs a brand new range. Anyway I've got photographs to take of all these goodies. I've got a market night to prep for don't you know? Mm -hmm. 